Hi everyone, what do we have here? We have this mobile phone, this Xiaomi mobile phone with bad light problem. I received the phone from another phone technician. You can see the phone is dismantled already. We are going to go ahead and troubleshoot this fault and see how we can solve the bad light problem. It is still a new screen and it's not working. Let's go ahead and see how we can troubleshoot and solve this fault. We are going to go ahead and remove the PCB. Also, let me see. I don't know if that can yeah if you take a look you will see this white line right so you can see the phone is on we will go ahead and see how we can repair this okay so the first thing that i want us to do i want us to to look at the backlight section of this mobile pcb because if you take a look at the screen connector you will see that mm. You will see that it cannot be the screen connector because everything seems to be well seems to be well connected, right? Everything seems to be well connected. So we have to locate the bug light circuit. Mm -hmm. Sure, let's go ahead to remove the part that we want to work on. So this little section that I cut out here, this this should be covering the the bug light IC. Okay, great, great. So after cleaning the mobile PCB, you can see the first problem that we have here. But I think looking at the PCB, you can tell what the problem is already. You can, you can tell that the diode here is damaged. And because the diode is damaged, that should be the, the backlight driver diode. So because the diode is damaged, you cannot get any backlight from this one. So either the bug light diode is damaged because one component here or maybe the bug light driver itself is damaged or yeah or well, that's just the problem. So what we do we just go ahead, remove this IC, remove the diode. So if you take a look now, you will see that instead I've removed all the components here. The reason is because after replacing the first diode here, I connected the phone switch on the phone, the diode burned out. There was smoke coming out of the diode and also smoke coming out of the inductor, which is supposed to, hear, to be here, right? I've removed that also. And also I replaced the diode and, and the inductor and the same thing happened. So I then removed the diode. There was a... Then there was a small current reading here, small ohm current reading here, and I thought that maybe it's the diode. I removed the diode, and I was still getting a small current reading. So I just decided to remove the diode, the capacitor here, which is connected to ground also, remove the inductor and remove the IC. Then go ahead and test, in which I'm going to do, do here. Go ahead and test. Yeah, if I will get any reading there is no reading here right so which means that all that i have to do i have to get a different pcb and transfer the the bug light ic the inductor the the coil right here and the the capacitor here so that i will know that everything should work perfectly i will be sure that this is supposed to work out and if it doesn't work then i will then go into the pcb knowing that i have to troubleshoot different things so i have i have this mobile pcb we are going to remove everything from this mobile pcb and transfer to this pcb here that's the first this is the second there's the second which is an inductor and we have the third we are not able to get the a diode with a specific size of the one that we removed here so we have no choice but it doesn't really matter we have different components here 
from another CPU so it should work work well then we have that capacitor here and we have the diode Okay, I think everything should be okay. Let's go ahead and clean the PCB. So just to make sure that everything will be okay, that we are not going to burn to, to burn these components that we just installed. We will go ahead and test just because I'm about to do this testing just because I want to be sure that we are not going to burn out these components that we just installed again. So what I do, I test the dial reading. Yeah. If you take a look at the multimeter, you will see that that dial reading is okay. So that's what I wanted to see, so that I will know that we are not going to burn out the, the diode again on these other components. So I will go ahead and test the phone. We succeeded in solving the fault. You can also click on my profile to see a lot of videos that can help you start from scratch, even if you are not ready to get my courses right now. But my courses are very cheap, and you can learn everything step by step. So, thank you, and see you soon.